Hi, my lovelies. Okay, so in this one, this is another one that's about uh, 10 months ago. So we're watching them in order as we're going. Um, I'm not skipping over any. We were just watching them pretty much one after the other after the other. So this is uh, until it becomes really recent and then obviously we'll stop. So this one's Cape Cod mini, um, mini vacation and vlog. And she's wearing... Oh, oh I hate that fucking... I, I hate that t-shirt. And I think the slimming filter is really, really working over time here because she does not look like that. It's not drinking alone if the dog... Kicking in. Happy... Kicking in. Happy... Good morning. So, waiting for the matcha. Well, I've only taken like two sips, but I'm waiting for the matcha to start. Kicking in. Happy... Oh, she's so fucking annoying. I hate it when she eats or drinks. It just disgusts me. Thursday, you guys. I've only been up because she disgusts me for a little bit. All I did was wash my face. I still have my sleep scrunchie in, and I thought I would just pick up the vlog camera and start the vlog because I have a lot to do. This vlog is actually going to intrude. Intrude? No. <laughs> this vlog is actually going to include a travel segment. My mom and I are going to the Cape for the weekend, a little girls' trip. We got an Airbnb that allows dogs, so we're going to bring Bruno and Cha Cha, and we're going to have so much fun. Yara's going to be. Oh, that fucking face. Don't you just want to punch it? army for the weekend so i asked my mom I'm like do you want to go on a little girl's trip please disregard the dishwashers go look at the way she's yawning look at the way she's fucking yawning with her mouth open and talking and not even covering her mouth a fucking heifer she's too busy touching her chest and all that fucking skin that's always constantly exposed going behind you so we're leaving tomorrow for a couple of nights and i have a lot that i want to get done today i kind of like have been so busy <laughs> i haven't really looked at the airbnb info that we got she's been so busy with what what are you being busy with heifer watching 90 day fiance or watching bachelor which one is it busy she's been so fucking busy guys she's doing god's work every day every day you know her nine to five job yeah she's been busy she hasn't had a chance to look at her um, emails. I, and like we need sh to bring our own sheets and towels. So I can obviously bring towels, but the sheet sizes are not the ones <laughs> that I have at my... That's just fucking ridiculous. I mean, at that point, why would you even go? You have to bring your own fucking sheets? Why would you bring your own sheets? This is listed as being 10 months ago. So why would they have to bring their own sheets? That's really weird house so i'm gonna grab like a cheap pair of twin sheets at like target or something I oh i think this is that little little place that they went into that looks really fucking depressing i think this is the one hang on i'll wait till we get up to the part and if it is i think i remember it I just do a pickup order so it can be fast i have been putting off so hard putting away my winter clothes and bringing out my summer clothes i have not touched like a sweater in over a month so i really want to swap out the clothes i have clothes i need to put away and then i'll be able to pack a lot more easily i'm kind of bummed though because like i think both of the main days we're going to be there is going to rain that's the last time i look i'm like ha <laughs> ha really yeah it's gonna be like 60s and rainy um and we got a airbnb near the beach so hopefully there'll be like a little break in the rain where we can take a walk on the beach either way it's still gonna be nice to just get away with my mom go to our favorite spots on the cape um because we have like a few places that we like to go certain restaurants and shops and stuff so it'll still just be a nice little girl's getaway okay so i think i'm gonna go like actually kind of get ready for the day <laughs> and uh, first and foremost we're gonna work on the closet okay here is the bedroom this is not happening oh God, that is so ugly. My God, guys. How much clothes? Whew. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to make it work. So, no uh, much space. And then we've got like sweatpants, lounge pants regular pants and jeans and then I need to go through like my leggings here because they're overflowing and some of them I don't like so we've got like bike shorts shorts leggings leggings this is all my workout stuff here I, I have it working did you see her fucking workout stuff for someone who doesn't even work out did you see it it's like pretty well um and then jackets are so many t-shirts all these are fucking t-shirts hang on it's here because they're overflowing and some of them I don't like so we've got like bike Wait. shorts shorts Workout stuff first. Hang on a minute. It's coming. Shorts, 
leggings, leggings. What, this is all workout tops. This is all, I mean, not even, there's even more than that. This is only what's in the shot. This is all my workout. Oh my God in heaven. Look at them all. Look at them all. Stuff here. I can't. Oh my God, it's still going. So finish is about up to here. All her fucking workout tops. And then starts from sweaters. I have it organized like pretty well. Um, and then uh, T-shirts, I mean, sorry, T-shirts. Jackets are over there. Some of those can be put away. That's taking up a lot of space. And then in baskets, some of them are like bathing suits. Some of them are like. That's that's just insanity. That's just a sin to have so many, so much fucking clothes. Seriously, I don't give a fuck if you're an influencer. It's just such a sin. It's a sin. Intimate stuff or uh, winter stuff. So I don't know. I just, huh, I really <laughs> need to just take the time today to get it organized because like honestly coming in here lately has been stressing me out looks <laughs> it still looks v cluttered but so much better all the summer stuff is out. it doesn't look any different out winter stuff is gone and i also went through these are not overstuffed anymore leggings bike shorts colorful leggings flared leggings shorts. who has that many clothes that you have to actually take out your one seasonal a whole seasonal outfits out and just keep another seasonal outfit in like she's taken all her winter stuff out and just kept all her summer clothes there who the fuck is that many where you have to do that fucking hell shorts um i went through all of my active wear oh. my classy now because you're so fucking active aren't you it's, your body proves how active you are it shows us work stuff short sleeves um, tank tops, short sleeves. I left out a few long sleeves, like my skims and stuff for, I don't know, like nighttime t-shirts, shorts, and like beachy pants. And then Fucking hell, even her t-shirts. Look at her sweaters, how many? I left out some of my favorite sweatshirts, dresses and jumpsuits, and then like, kind of like coats you could wear at night, like denim jackets and stuff. And I put some shorts up here and put away some of my sweatpants. I kept out some for like nighttime. And I have a couple bags for the Goodwill and I have some stuff my mom is gonna sell on Poshmark. She sells some of my old clothes, so I will link her. The, uh, she sells all her old clothes. They're all going to be Poshmark. You, you're not gonna get, donate anything. Don't, don't, don't bullshit, Alexandra, just don't. Poshmark down below. I just have so much random stuff to do. I have no energy to put on makeup, but I put in some jewelry to try to jazz it up. <laughs> You never have any energy to do anything. Okay, so I am going to go do a couple returns. I bought this Amazon dress and it is just way too small. So I got to return that. I have a Target return. I have an Old Navy return. Then I have a... Tar oh my God, I reckon if I worked at that place and I had to see her fucking annoying, ugly face every day, I would have been sacked by now. I would have been sacked and terminated because I would have been so fucking rude to her. They would have said to me, what do you, what do you think you're doing? I'll, I'll be sick of seeing this bitch's fucking face every five seconds returning so many things target pickup and if i feel like it i have to stop in sephora because i just ran out of my bruno's whining because he he thinks we're going out uh at sephora i need to grab some tula protecting glow that look at the earrings how they're sitting on her spf and my lash <laughs> look at this one <laughs> even the earrings want to get away from her face food lash serum so that's kind of at the end of my list oh and i have to stop and do a donation of clothes so whew. sure you do up i got a rake i need to fix the holes or yarn i need to fix the holes where we have like patches in the backyard from yeah as if you're gonna do it do you get one rake or two there's only one there so yaman's gonna do it leaving his poop out over the winter so you guys saw in the lowe's video we got this and after reading the instructions we need to like rake the areas first and then put i still can't get over that guys how she left his poop there all over winter over the whole of winter, she left his poop in the backyard. That is so fucking disgusting. And the seeds and then water it because our hose won't reach like across all the spots. Um, I got this watering can and the rake at Target. I got like the cheapest one. This was like five bucks. I think the rake was like 20, but we should probably have something like that anyway for house stuff. And I'm going to try a new creamer. This is the Caramel Macchiato Zero Sugar from Starbucks because you guys know I like my sugar-free one from Coffee Mate. So I don't know gonna try it see if it's good and then also from target i got just this sheet set oh i meant to just buy <laughs> all i needed was a fitted sheet this is why sometimes you should go into the store and not do a drive up because this comes with a flashy a fitted sheet. most of the time you should go into a store and not do a drive up you lazy fucking heifer sheet and pillowcase and all i needed was the fitted sheet for She's the Airbnb. so fucking dumb she is so dumb Airbnb, so oh it's an airbnb 
Okay, I've never been to an Airbnb where you have to fucking bring your own fitted sheets. Seriously? Fucking kidding? What are you paying for? Maybe I'll go back out later and exchange. Bring your own fitted sheet? That's just bizarre. That. And then I did go to Old Navy and Sephora and I did my Amazon return. I did not do the Target return. I did my drive up pickup and then felt too awkward to go inside and do my return. <laughs> so maybe it's a good thing that... This, this is someone who had preached from fucking day one how to be fearless. Learning to be fearless and telling the guys, telling all her minions and everybody how to be fearless, how to be fearless. Did you guys hear what she just said? She did not have the nerve. She she was too embarrassed to go back inside. Oh, let me just play it. And then Listen. I did go to Old Navy and Sephora and I did my... Listen now. Amazon return. I did not do the Target return. Listen to why she didn't do the Target return. I did my drive-up pickup and then felt too awkward to go inside and do my return. <laughs> she felt too awkward to go inside and do my do her return. Do you know why that is, guys, I think? Because they probably roll their fucking eyes every time they see her, and I don't blame them. They probably roll them so badly they fall out of their heads when they see this fucking heifer coming down to return something again. So maybe it's a good thing that the fitted sheet is wrong and I can go back out later. But Sephora did not have the Lash Food Lash Serum, so I only got my Protect and Glow SPF and UVB protection thing. So this built-in shelf bra, and the girl on TikTok said it was, like, actually very supportive. Oh, the girl on TikTok said it's actually really supportive because she's not trying to sell it and get um, money either. And it's just, I was so excited because online when I checked the other day, they didn't have the black in extra large. So they had it in store. So I grabbed it, this really cute. Oh, stretch to the minimum. She's going to stretch that to the minimum. Ribbed halter with a built-in bra. I only spent like 50 bucks in Old Navy. With a built-in bra. Did that look like it had a fucking built-in bra to you? Did that look like it's going to hold anyone up? A lot was on sale in the store. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. <gasps> That, I forgot that that cami dress I got with the ties, um, it was on sale for $13. It was 60% off today only in store. So this is the one that I got. This linen, really cute, kind of fit and flare style. I don't have- It's too fucking short for her to, to be showing those fucking disgusting non-existent kneecaps. It's too short. I have any like dresses like this. I like how the straps are adjustable with the ties and then the back is smocked so it's nice and comfy. It has pockets. It's just like this adorable mini dress. I'll link everything I got. I only got a couple other things and then they had it in like shirt styles. So I grabbed it in this lime green, smocking down the back. Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. No shame. Absolutely no shame. Eating up her armpit. So cute i'm really actually into color lately and then the last thing i got is just this pair of flippy shorts oh they are so ugly shorts i really liked this pattern so oh my god that's what i don't like oh my god it's so fucking ugly your taste is up your asshole kind of giving that abercrombie vibe right now and it has like stretches why does it always have to give a fucking gro a, a, a fucking vibe of some brand. Why does it have to give a vibe? Who fucking cares? As long as the person who's buying it likes it. Does it have to give a fucking vibe? In the back. And after taking out all my shorts today, I only have white ones like this. Oh, I have one hot pink pair too. So I got this fun pattern. I love the beige, white. Oh, isn't it fun, guys? Isn't it just, wouldn't you just all rush out and get it? It's so fucking fun. And black. So that was all I got from Old Navy. And then I got super cash. That's like the smartest marketing technique. Always like, here, come back in a week. I'm like, don't mind if I do. It's actually a really good day. You're a fucking idiot, Alexandra. You are a fucking idiot. And they work because of morons like you. Those people give them out to morons like you who get sucked in. A for yard work. It's like 60 and sunny, 65. So you won't like sweat, but you won't be cold. So I feel like maybe I'll just do it. So I have to rig it. She's got this obsession with um, not sweating. God forbid you fucking sweat and lose a couple of kilos. It says to use a rotary spreader. Um, I think I'm just going to put it on with my hands. And it says to water immediately after. Optimal seed germination, 60 to 85 degrees, right? Right, and we actually just went for a walk, and I did end up doing the lawn. Um, it's like almost six o'clock now, so it took me about an hour. This is ten months ago, guys. Look at the size of her fucking face. Just look at it. Hour and a half to do the lawn. It was definitely a project, like raking all the spots, because it it was a lot. That's okay. You might have you might have lost a pound or two, but don't worry, you'll put it on. 
You put it on any dinner. So I like raked them and kind of like scraped so all that like dead grass came off and like the soil was kind of more lifted. But I did that while it was still like sunny and warmer because now I just took him for a walk after that. Now it's only 58 and the sun is setting. Um, so I ended up putting on a sweatshirt because it was chilly. Who gives a fuck what the weather is? Oh my God. Are we here for the weather channel? Fuck me dead on our walk. Today has been very productive and now we're going to put the sheets back on the bed. No way. Not with kind me, you know. Hands to the other. She fucking serious with how many pillows? Oh my god, what an absolute joke. So there'll be the two there, two on the other side. So two um two on Yama's side. So it's two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven pillows. Eleven fucking pillows on the bed. They're painting so. I mean, seriously, why did she stop there? Keep going. You're almost at the end of the bed. Why did you stop there? And they are the most boring fucking pillows. Oh my God in heaven. Yay, I love it. Tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. Happy day we leave for vacation. It's 9.30. I've been moving kind of slow this morning. She's the only person I know who goes on vacation from a fucking vacation. She goes from one vacation to another vacation to another vacation and doesn't work in between. Um, I had breakfast a while ago and now I'm just starting to slowly sip on this Alani. And the heifer still has nerve to complain and be ungrateful but i'm so excited i just got a message from our airbnb person saying that the cleaning lady will be done by one if you want to check in around one instead of three because normally it was three so i'm like that is so nice because honestly today is the only sunny day for our whole weekend trip so being able to go early is like such a blessing i'm so like excited that was just such a a light moment this morning so i'm really excited that we can check in early so since it's 9 30 and now since we can check in early and i have to pick up my mom and it's like an hour and a half away um, I kind of got to get my button gear, but I'm actually also very glad today's Friday. On Friday during this phase of my co-pilot workouts, Friday's workout can be done at my house because I have an elliptical. Oh, wow. You're so, you're so glad that you can do your workout, that you've got a gym downstairs, the one that you never fucking use. And I have a bench with weights, so I am just going to work out from home today. My mom just texted me, so I'm going to let her know. We can check in early. Let me check and make sure the weather is still good there today. <laughs> yeah, I have to laugh. I get so paranoid and I'm so full of shit that hopefully in between these giggles, you don't know that I'm shit talking. <laughs> That'd be really rude if it wasn't. I mean, it has the sun, it has wind, but you know, that's... Oh, fun. Sundays has rain with snow. More weather talk. More fucking weather talk cool but i'm so excited that we can go early today so we'll make the most of it okay so i am gonna go work out and pack now i'm on a time crunch so um i might see you guys when we get to the airbnb there's a chachi girl oh my god looks like chachi's got false teeth <laughs> look at the teeth they look like dentures oh you ready for vacation we're here Brune. did you see that two second workout on the thing that she she literally clipped it Showed us the clip for two seconds, if that. And she probably just jumped off that straight away anyway. We just got here. Look at how cute this little cottage is. It's so cute with the wood beams. It's got this cute little sitting area. Wow, it's adorable. It's like so teeny and there's another. That's all right. I want to attach to it right there. Perfect for me and mom. It's got bar stools. It's actually like a. Yeah, that bar stool is not going to fit your ass. So I wouldn't be sitting on the bar stool. Really good size. Cute little kitchen. They have some chairs. I wonder if anyone is staying at the one next to us. What is she laughing for? It's chilly in here, huh, guys? The Cape is so much colder than home. <laughs> a little TV. Oh, yeah, you're having fun. And then we've got two bedrooms. <laughs> Hi, Cha Cha. Yeah. That's a cute little theme of nautical vibes. Ooh, I love this. And then two twin. Yeah, it does nothing for me. I don't do nautical and I don't do beach. Um, this doesn't excite me at all beds in here cute and here's the bathroom and you know i had to be fitting i had to wear this from abercrombie because we're at cape cod and then oh fuck off fucking annoying fuck out front there's table chairs and an umbrella and i also put on some look at the way she's looking at herself look at the way she's i fucking herself in the camera fresh at home lash extensions from wink click winky click um wink clicks <laughs> 
I don't know. But you know what? I had a really hard time with them before because I just cannot put them underneath the lash. I have to do them on top. Sanj, off. should we get some food and water going? Take off your leashes? I think we're going to go down to the beach, though. God forbid you take their leashes off. Because it's our one sunny day. They've got all sorts of stuff here, guys. They've got all sorts of stuff. Thank God they're pet friendly. I hope that bowl was for the pets. Oh my god, that cha cha is so fucking adorable. Jeez, it looks bloody cold. I wouldn't want to go somewhere near the beach if it's going to be cold. Drink at the same time. Cha Cha just walked underneath Bruno's body. Like it was a bridge. <laughs> oh, not even choking. You guys are so cute. Cha Cha loves Bruno and. Her hair looks great like that. The biggest mistake she ever did was cutting it. Poppy is everything he does when we took them on a walk on the to the beach. She had to be near him. Had to be doing what he was doing. And now I have you guys in the microwave because it's the perfect height for the camera. So we took a little rest after our beach walk because you guys, it was so <laughs> windy and cold. It kind of like. She she had to take a rest after the beach walk. Did you fucking run laps? Did you run laps on the beach? My God, I've never seen anyone who loves themselves so much. Like, oh God, I better have a rest. Otherwise my body might fall apart. Knock the life out of us, but it was really our only chance to go since it's going to rain. So that was nice. And now we are getting ready to go get dinner at Wimby's in Osterville. And I thought it was appropriate to wear my beach shirt and then some jeans. And ow! <laughs> oh, that was priceless. Let me see it again. And now we are getting ready to go get dinner at Wimby's in Osterville. And I thought it was appropriate to wear my beach shirt and then some jeans. And ow! <laughs> that was my hand. It just hit the microwave door. All right, we're gonna pull out these curls and we'll see you guys at the restaurant. Good time when we were gone at dinner. Cha Cha, are you being a little cuckoo bananas? Are you being a little cuckoo? She loves to play. Oh, she is so fucking adorable. Bruno's like, I'm getting a little bit tired. The best thing is the underbite. Oh, those teeth. Those teeth kill me. They're so fucking perfect. We love her underbite. Yes, we do. Um, all right. Oh, it's an underbite. Guys, so dinner was a little intense. There was actually an elderly man who fell next to our table. Yeah, it was intense. He fell next to us like he kind of like crashed into yeah table. i'm having a hard time Glasses explaining it went flying smashed everywhere look at nancy's hair there you can't tell me what she has now is nicer than this no fucking way in hell that at least was a some fucking sort of style that is lovely not what she has now the rubbish she's got now on her head where he falls on his back like the, the, the table gets pushed out of the way, chairs get pushed out of the way, he's flat on his back, glasses broken everywhere, everyone's like, oh my god, Harry, Harry, Harry! Call 911! It was so scary. It was a thing. It made, like, I, then I start sweating. You're that, you're there on the floor with him. I'm there on the floor with him because I know what okay. to do when people, like, do that. So I'm like, Harry, Harry, do you know where you are? Mm -hmm. Do you know, like, who is the president? You ask people questions like, okay, you two. They're, they're playing. <laughs> and Alexandra's over at the table, she's sweating. <laughs> she's like, I had to put my what the f fuck is she sweating for what the fuck is she sweating for oh my god mind you they just finished saying how cold it was where's my hair clip i'm sweating i need to put my hair up I'm sweating. <laughs> i was like oh my god oh it was a lot it was, it was a, lot. a lot and then an ambulance came and yeah it was a lot so i did not well i'm glad the man's okay and i'm glad they wrote it down here i was gonna say what happened to the man vlog after um but we're back home cha cha is a scrappy gal she's a scrapper she's she's the bully here i forgot to bring an extra battery so we're gonna have to switch to the phone no the only bully here is the okay, one tomorrow that. but we'll see you guys in the morning good morning you guys it is now saturday our full day in cape cod her hump here is coming through to almost her shoulder her back hump and I've got the dogs here. I don't know why. I like slept really bad and then I couldn't sleep in. I woke up at like 7, 7.30. My mom is still asleep. So I just took the dogs out and gave them breakfast. And I'm contemplating if I want to go to like Duncan and get her coffee for when we come back. When she wakes up, I can like microwave it for her. She can microwave it for her. Um, translation is she wants to go and get some donuts. Or she wants to get something from there clearly why would you 
get your mum a coffee and then heat it up for her. Just fucking go and get it when she wakes up. You're full of shit. But she does that. <laughs> but she loves Duncan. We got her um, like an instant coffee at CVS last night. But I'm sure she'd rather have Duncan. So since she's still asleep, I might go. These dogs, <laughs> these dogs do not stop playing. It is actually really cute though because I feel like Cha Cha looks at Bruno as like an older. Who gives a shit? That's what dogs do, especially if they're with each other. Brother and like copies everything oh, he does okay, until through the so night because you just i don't know it's a new routine a new place but they did really good so <laughs> can't keep, keep touching your chest keep touching it hi nick oh hi girly hi girly okay guys mom and i are headed on our main street walk oh, i have to say i cannot stand the bucket hats on her mother i don't understand why she constantly wants to wear them she's got a beautiful hairstyle take it the fucking back uh, bucket hat off it's not like the sun is beaming down on her either in hyannis because it's not raining this is a really cute main street so we'll poke in the shops and all that jazz we always come in here because it smells good and they have cute souvenirs i like this uh, it's not because they've got ice cream and lollies it's just the souvenirs yeah right Smell of fudge and popcorn. There you go. Your <laughs> mum just said it. At least her mum's honest about it. Have fun, quirky stuff. Mm -hmm. There's ice cream right your... there. Look at all the food. She said that they have um, other things. It's mostly food in this shop. Mostly food. Look at all the lollies. Look at all those lollies. Wow. I mean, we all love shops like that, but for fuck's sake, don't lie about it. We're going to see what's in the store. I don't know. She said TikTok featured candy. So what is this stuff? I don't know. Graffiti stuff. I'm surprised she didn't buy it. Oh, it's just like a bunch of sour stuff. They have a bunch of sugar-free stuff. I wonder if it would give me diarrhea. I wonder if it would give me diarrhea. Well, you're going to get diarrhea either way, even if you have too much chocolate. If you have too much chocolate and you have too much sugar, it gives it to you. And if you don't, it's going to give it to you. You're going to get dumping either way. Okay, tell them. Unless you gorge yourself on it. You can have one or two. But we all know she's not going to have just one or two. There's one more band. And I have to go to CBS. Let's get away from that speaker. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's like insane. And, and I came across a Fifth Avenue bar. They don't have it anywhere. Anywhere near where I live, where I work, anything. Oh, it's so good. So it's like a Butterfinger, but it's got a little more peanut butter in it. <laughs> and I think the chocolate coating is a little thicker than a Butterfinger. Like, and I know I'm obsessed and to notice these details as Cuckoo Bananas. Guess what? I have not be able to, been able to find a Fifth Avenue <laughs> anywhere but the CVS on Hanover Street. So we got to find her a Fifth Avenue. This is a candy store. They have to have it. Certainly they must. I have a really good feeling because they've got like vintage candy and stuff. Look at these cute dog decals. I want to get one. They're all so cute. Would you ever put it on your car? I would. A beer dog, a love dog. Oh, a coffee dog. Dogs make me happy. So, it's not drinking alone if the dog is home. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, they have every other. She should have bought that one. TikTok made me do it. Older kind of candy bar, but not her damn guys, fifth ass. Look, they have a sky bar. Are you guys even old enough to remember <laughs> no. a damn sky bar? No. <laughs> if they have a sky bar here, they should have a damn fifth avenue. I'm not going to give up. I feel like we have to keep looking here. Why don't you just ask them? Or like in general? I, I thought here. Then again, she shouldn't really be looking in that section at all because of her diabetes. I mean, if she's looking in that section, she should be looking at chocolate that doesn't have sugar in it. Stop. What is it? Look how cute this cover is. Mm. Oh, stop it. Like, that's enough to make me cry. <laughs> really important stuff my dog has taught me. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, I hate it when I say that word now. It reminds me of her. She's ruined that word for me. <laughs> oh, unlikely friendships. I love that. Mm. These are like pictures of the birds. Look at all the birds. Oh, and a little mouse. Let's start at the beginning of the chapter. Oh, what the heck is that? Ugh. I can't tell you how I hate all that stuff. I, I don't know what it is about the beach and the... Look, that's, that's a whale. I don't know what it is about that stuff and seashells and all that nautical... Ugh, I just hate it all. It does nothing for me. It's it probably not even good. It, I'm probably going to be like, mm. <laughs> so true. Know, right? So true. Of course. Of course she comes into a cupcake shop. But it, it was the 
it was the bypass that didn't work. It was the surgery. It wasn't it wasn't her putting shit in her mouth every five seconds. <laughs> The strawberries look nice. Red fish, blue fish. Social anxiety. Shh, get that one. This one here, social anxiety, and this one, social anxiety. <laughs> Calm the F down. these cute dog treats like we have to get some for the dogs oh, are you kidding oh wow look at those flamingo ones <laughs> these cute little I love food the shapes dog. and look at the donuts okay what are we getting for the dogs we're in a dog store obviously i gotta have to look at everything we have to look at all of it oh i want to get some stuff for the baby this is probably the best store we'll i know i feel so happy look at the food truck oh my gosh bruno would love that what are these? Good girl dog beer? <laughs> what are they? You can't be serious. I wonder what it's made out of. Ingredients. Yeah, what's it made of? Homemade peanut butter broth. <gasps> That's so fun. I wonder if they'd like it. Yeah, give the dogs shit that you don't know what's in it. I can't imagine they wouldn't. I like them, but we managed to pull off like an hour and a half, two hours walking around. And I got them the peanut butter broth dog beer. She did. And I got Bruno a toy. Okay, now we're gonna go have lunch at Spanky's Clam Shack. She's on fucking It's a quintessential. Boy. If only it were nice out, <laughs> we'd be sitting here. Yeah. Best lobster roll I've ever had. Best lobster roll she's ever Gigantic, had. Gigantic, like overflowing. Yeah. First, I'm like, damn, this is expensive, but right. probably worth it. Worth it. And I had some buff trick. Many hours later. All right, you guys, we took a little rest because that's what we do. Another fucking rest. But she took another rest because she walked around a bit. She had to sit down and fucking have a rest on the bed. Oh, my God, you lazy, lazy fucking heifer. And just took out the dogs. We've been hanging out with them. They are having the time of their So fucking lazy. It blows me away. She needs a fucking nap every five seconds. Even when we go out, they're having the time of their life because they're just playing and playing. Lashes are holding up really well, and it's not currently raining, which is great, but we are going to go do a little poke around Target since we didn't get to the other day. You guys saw the vlog where we got cut short, so that'll be good. We're going to go find my mom. She wants to look at white mini skirts, a bathing suit top, an outfit for cha-cha, and yeah, we're just going to poke around before we go and have dinner. And I did a new little hairdo that I saw on TikTok, so I don't know. Oh, fuck off. You need TikTok to tell you you can do your hair like that, you fucking moron. Looks good, but it's fine. It's so fun and colorful. I love all that green. That's really fun. Ooh. Kind of like the green, too. Oh, and it has a nice little smock in the back, so it's stretchy. Which is like what we, we all love need. that. Why do I love That's this, fun. right? Because it's fucking ugly. No, knowing you, you picked the ugliest fucking thing in the store. That is so, so ugly. My God. Where the fuck? Taste is up her fucking ass. I love this. If your mom's never tried on a dress over her clothes at Target, then... Tell them they should. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I love this. Oh, it's too big, I think, yeah? No, 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 I don't think. It's really cute, actually. I love it. Hey, you guys, I am going to get this dress. Oh, my God. She's going to get it. She's actually going to fucking get it. And there is a ton. Of uh, she going for this one because that is fucking horrendous. Clearance, so we're going to... Oh, I thought she was going to touch it. <sighs> poke around you guys they have some of the she did she fucking did i knew it i knew she would i knew that's so her because it's the ugliest thing there so she couldn't have touched this yellow one that's not bad she should go for the ugliest one there and say she likes that one the designer stuff on sale that like makes me sad but i also i'm gonna see if there's anything here <laughs> 20 bucks this oh my god it's so fucking ugly an old fashioned -y. So cute. Guys, look how cute these jeans are. They're like peachy and they're on clearance for 20 bucks. And then these are back in. Yeah, try wear them now and see if they fit your heifer. What do we think? Do we love or hate? Mom had the time of. No, hate. Looks like you're shit in your pants. Her life in the clearance section. She found so many cute things. These pants, I love. These pants are amazing. Oh, I think those pants are ugly, but. 
Mott looking awesome, Nancy. Uh, so what did I get? And then this glossy thing. And then this sweat dress. Can't wait to wear that. And then a baby sit top. Yay! They did not have her denim mini skirt. Mm -hmm. but a white denim mini skirt is like it's everything. her fave. It's not just my fave, it just goes with everything. Yeah. I can't wear shorts, I have to wear skirts. My body is ill shaped. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as ill-shaped as your fucking daughter, that's for sure. Get me properly. <laughs> Unless I buy maternity shorts and then it's a whole thing of trying to keep them up because I'm not really maternity. I bet you could find it at Old Navy. A just maternity appealing. one? No, uh, just a white oh. denim skirt. All right, now we're going to go get dinner because it's we've been in here for Evs. All right, we are at one of for Evs. our fave Mexican restaurants for dinner and it's so vibey in here. It's just so colorful and bright. So I think we're going to share. Unlike your house, colorful and bright nachos because it's what we do we step out of the restaurant and it's pouring rain all right suck shit oh, it looked worse than it is tomorrow good morning you guys taking the dogs out for the morning the fuck is going on with that all last year? <laughs> oh my god what is going on with it see this is why i don't like ones that you can you put on yourself or that they put on for you because if you and I sleep on my face and on my side. If I was to sleep on my face, they'd all be going different directions. I don't know if we're going to do anything today or just head home, but obviously I'll take you all along. I don't know, it just looks really weird to me, that one. All right, we're heading home. We're going to stop at the beach and the general store. Let them off the fucking lead. It's not like he's going to go into the fucking ocean, you know what I mean? It's not like he's going to go in and never come back. Jeez, give the dog some fucking freedom. Oh my god, that cha-cha is adorable. I love stores like this. Country stores. Ugh, ugly. I thought she was going to, I thought she was looking at the carpet in the store. I was going to say it's like her carpet. And we just gave him his new toy. This one's great because it got the squeak and then it has the water bottle crunch and a rope. Oh, I like that. And then we forgot to have the dogs try this. So Bruni might be alone on the dog beer. But safe to say that the toy is a hit. Meanwhile, Yar got new shoes. <laughs> And these. Look at these. I like them. They're nice. Very nice. They'll see you from a mile away, babe. I love them. Very fun. When I tell you guys, I feel absolutely grotesque from traveling, walking on the beach, sweating in between. So happy to be home. Um, so happy to be home. The ungrateful heifer didn't enjoy herself. So she's so glad to be home. It was an effort to be away, guys. It was a fucking effort to be away. She is so unfucking grateful. We did end up stopping at a TJ Maxx on the way home because mom really wanted to look for her skirt, which she didn't find, but she found a ton of other like amazing summer dresses and she really needed new summer dresses. So I'm really happy for her. And I grabbed a couple things. I got a salad spinner, y'all. If you know, you know. I oh, thrifted one. Yar for four fisking and stuff for taking walks because you get the air breathability in the oh my god yeah air breathability because you walk so fucking much that your head gets so hot i'm sure back i just think it's so happy that's an ugly hat happy and fun and then kind of going along with that pink theme i got this watch band oh my god because i love like, she's such a fucking child like i said hot pink right now has a really soft touch tea dry shampoo this one is in the clearance um jr watkins i've used these up and it smells so relaxing i use it every time i shower so perfect to grab this one for two which isn't much <laughs> she uses every time she showers dollars. and then i just fell in love with this kind of between a midi and a maxi dress it like cinches on each side i really liked the pattern i want to be a dress girl uh, uh, got nothing to say about that dress this summer like as you know, <laughs> easy breezy vibes. You can look cute, but you're still just like flow. She always says easy breezy vibes, but she always ends up in her fucking gym gear. Flowy and airy, and I really liked the colors. See how it has like red and blue? Really cute. So anyway, I just want to go shower and get comfy. It's 4.30. Miracle. She must be feeling really dirty if she wants to shower. And we're just going to like wind down, watch Truth Be Told. Oh, fuck you and fuck with your Truth Be Told. Oh, 
All right, guys, that's it for this one. She's so fucking irritating. God, I can't stand her. All right, my friends, <laughs> that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave me your comments down below and I'll read them. And if I get a chance, I'll comment to some. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.